Okay. What the fuck is this milk doing? so small and it's so good. <laughs> Love chocolate milk. <laughs> anyway, what's up people of the world? It's me again, Alex Wimmer, aka AP Through Jumped. Um, welcome to a new vlog. I don't know what vlog number this is and I really don't care because <laughs> I can't keep up anymore. So today's Star Wars Day. Yay, happy dance. Um, now, uh, I've done Star Wars Day videos for years. Um, this is one of those things where, I've, where I talk about like, I've talked about over and over again, like, with not just Star Wars Day, but with Lados Day. And when I tend to talk about the same thing every year, I tend to repeat myself <clears throat> in what I say. So I'm going to try to add new stuff to talk about in this video, just like with my uh, Lighthouse Anniversary Day video. But um, I guess I'll retell my uh, um, what I love about, what I think about of the Star Wars series and uh, what it means to me. So yeah, I gotta say, um. Right off the bat, um, Star Wars is one of my favorite franchises of all time. It's um, one of my definitely one of my favorite movie franchise. <coughs> <coughs> Shit, excuse me. Definitely one of my favorite movie franchises of all time. Right there, right up there with Back to the Future. So um, yeah, I got introduced to Star Wars at a very early age, and um, I got introduced to the prequels first. But um, so that means I uh. Seen, I've seen every movie in the mainline series in chronological order, so um, that's good, I guess. So, and uh, now that every mainline, now that every movie in the mainline series has been released, uh, that will definitely give me an opportunity to talk about new stuff. So, yeah, and then a couple years later, I played the Lego Star Wars games, and that's how I got introduced to the original trilogy, <laughs> because Lego Star Wars Two actually came with a trailer for the original trilogy, and I remember. I remember like it was yesterday. I will, I will, I will never forget uh, my first time seeing footage from the original trilogy. It was, it was, a, it was an, it was an awesome experience. <laughs> I remember the interaction between uh, Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia in particular when I seen that for the first time. And uh, with the with Luke saying, "I'm Luke Skywalker and I'm here to rescue you," and then Leia saying, "Aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper?" <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I was hooked. That that got me hooked. So um. I uh, I had my dad rent all the movies in the original trilogy for me to see, and uh, needless to say, I uh, loved the original trilogy. And then years later, I found out that there was a sequel trilogy being made. I found this out in high school, actually. And then I uh, then the then the uh, sequel trilogy came out in the mid twenty tens. Saw those, I loved them to death. So. Uh, Let's talk about my general consensus on all the movies really quickly. So, <clears throat> first movie, I agree it's not the best Star Wars movie. It, I guess it's like objectively the worst Star Wars movie. Now, um, this is all subjective, by the way. A lot of people say the original trilogy is the best, but it really does depend on who you ask. So, in my personal opinion, these are my thoughts on all the movies. <clears throat> um, very brief. So, yeah, I still really like the first movie. Um, despite its flaws... Um, the the movie the first movie still has some 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 great highlights in it like the pod race and and uh, and uh, the, the the Darth Maul final battle scene was fucking great. I especially love Darth Maul's theme in, ge in general. So um, the 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 first thing the first movie um unfortunately um I at worst it's like the most boring Star Wars movie for me <laughs> it can get very boring at times and also the CGI is not that great it doesn't really hold, hold up at all now I think the second and third movies have have better looking CGI and I think those movies um have CGI that actually I think still holds up to this day two and three so um tag clones I really love really love that had like a great settings I, uh I love the factory too. That that was an awesome environment. Uh, and um, episode three was really good. <laughs> I thought that, that that episode three was outstanding. Um, that one has a lot of tension in it, and uh, especially the final battle scene of um, an between Anakin and Obi Wan, and then and then the transformation of Darth Vader. All that was some really powerful stuff. And that movie is John Williams at his best. Like the music is 
so fucking good. <laughs> and uh, that movie really has some tense moments, like I said, and the music really helps out with that. So Now, uh, <clears throat> episodes 4, 5, and 6, it's hard for me to come up with what I think about those movies individually, so as a whole, really love the, the original trilogy. Um, I gotta say, um, it's... There's a certain charm that I love about the original trilogy, and that's why I admire about them. And episodes, uh, episode four, really fun, um, really fun first movie in the entire franchise. <laughs> and uh, episode five, also really fun. <laughs> episode six, again, also really fun. Uh, I feel like that one has a lot of tense moments. Um, I feel like the last movie in every trilogy is really tense, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Now, jump forward to the sequel trilogy. That episode, that The Force Awakens, was fucking amazing. What a great nostalgia trip. Episode 8, now I agree, I, I agree The Last Jedi is not the best Star Wars movie. I I still think it's a really gr good movie with a, with still, but still has a lot of problems. And I agree, and I can understand the what, pe pe what people don't like about episode 8. Um... Even for me, when I watched it, I thought there were some things that made me scratch my head like, er? So, I almost sound like Yoda. Er? Um, I would do, do a Yoda impression right now, but I can't. <laughs> um, so, also, I, I would ha have to rehearse his backwards, I would have to rehearse his backwards grammar. A uh, random fun fact, there's actually a term for, uh... Uh, the backwards grammar in which Yoda speaks. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, the way Yoda talks is an actual is an actual term. I uh, can't remember what it is, but I learned that in eighth grade. Now, uh, episode nine. Ep uh, where do I even begin with that? Now that movie was fucking outstanding in my opinion. I um, I think it's definitely the best out of the sequel trilogy, and definitely my favorite out of the sequel trilogy. That one is extremely fucking tense, and uh, I feel like that movie has a really good payoff, especially the final, like, you know, the climax was really good, and then I thought, even my dad was was super ecstatic about the movie. He said it was one of the best mo movies he's ever seen in his life, and I agree, <laughs> and to paraphrase what he said, it has, a, it has a great mix of old Star Wars and new Star Wars content, it's just, that's just, it's just great, so... Yeah, I definitely love episode nine so freaking much. The Rise of Skywalker. I think I think it's a great fucking movie, and uh, me and my dad both. <laughs> and um, so, I think it's a great way to end off the mainline series. So, yeah. Um, now with other aspects of Star Wars, I love all the video games. <laughs> I, well, I haven't played that many of the video games. I played the Lego games. I played The Force Unleashed with my dad. That was really fun. Played Star Wars Jedi, Jedi Fallen Order a little bit. That's also really fun. And um, I love all the spinoff stuff. I don't get that much into the Expanded Universe stuff, but the stuff I do learn about is fun. <clears throat> like, um, I love the different uh, takes on the existing universes. Like... <clears throat> I love the Clone Wars. Um, I love I love the movie. I saw that in theaters. It's the first movie. I it's the first Star Wars movie I remember seeing in theaters. Love the TV series, but never finished it for some reason. I just forgot to keep up with it. I never saw Star Wars Rebels. I I barely I have seen Star Wars Rebels, um, and I don't really know the general consensus consensus of that series. Now the Mandalorian, on the other hand, I think is fucking amazing. I love that series. It was one of my favorite series of two thousand nineteen. My favorite new TV shows of two thousand nineteen. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I love, I love the Star Wars series. It's, it's just pretty great. Now, random object of the day. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a collection of Star Wars Pez dispensers with four different Pez dispensers. Now, a random fun fact about me, I have owned every single, I've owned previous versions of three of these, uh, this Pez dispensers. Darth Vader, the Death Star, and the Stormtrooper. Now, the only new... The Pez dispenser in this kit is, um, you know, the Death Trooper, actually. So, yeah. That's cool. And another random fun fact, R2, D2, and C-3PO are the only characters that have appeared in every single mainline Star Wars movie. They've appeared in all nine films. Yoda, unfortunately, has not. He is, he is, yeah. So, 
Anyway, um, I can, I'm gonna have to end off this video. Um, so, uh, if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you liked it, ring the bell to be notified of future videos I make. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And um, with that, be with that being said, I uh, um, may the fourth be with you. And uh, once, I, once again, I'm Alex Swimmer, aka AP3 Jones. Thank you so much for watching. Until the end, that's it for me, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Original.